Well, members of the small business community coming together today to receive the latest information and pointers from industry insiders on how to ensure the sustainability of their businesses as they navigate the issues impacting the sector. Fern Carey has the story. This week's Small Business Forum is designed to update entrepreneurs on emerging trends in the digital market space while equipping them with the latest information on diversity and inclusion in the sector including the regulatory framework as it relates to small business development. Spearheaded by the Access Accelerator Small Business Development Center, Executive Director Samantha Roll indicated that the response has been tremendous. She's also hoping that participants will take advantage of networking opportunities while being inspired by new developments in the sector. We got an overwhelming response from the public, our clients, the public, and truly appreciative of that. And it shows that there are um, persons who are extremely excited about what's happening um, this month and what is planned moving forward in terms of um, assisting and supporting the MSME sector, the small business sector here in the Bahamas. So today is filled with, you know, um, a number of experts, um, clients, uh, entrepreneurs, and exciting talent. One of the forum speakers, Island Bay Group Limited Managing Director Jeffrey Beckles, is encouraging more small businesses to make changes to their operations now in order to mitigate the impact of hyperinflation. As always, we try to look at the structure of the organization, the structure of the operation. Uh, one of the greatest impacts is costs. How do we, how do we uh, make adjustments in our costs to mitigate the impact? Uh, and then at the same time, we still have to live. So while we're talking about the impact of cost cutting measures we also need to focus on how do we expand our customer base because we need that revenue still coming in people still need to live people still need services so it's a balancing between improving our revenue streams expanding revenue streams and also controlling costs Beckles also provided more insight on a tourist app created by his company that he says is reaping huge dividends particularly during this festive season single month since we launched we've been out about uh, three and a half weeks we've had well over 1500 tourists download the, the wallet because they plan to come here for at some point during the Thanksgiving break or the holiday break and that's exciting for us. Business Forum organizers say plans are already underway for next year's event. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Fern Carey.